welcome to Finextra. I'm Josie Waite and I'm here at Next Gen Banking, the AI Revolution conference in London. And joining me now, straight off the closing panel session, is Abhijit Akerka from Lloyds Banking Group. Thank you very much for speaking with me. Thank you for having me. Is AI a fundamental shift for financial institutions? And how will it influence the business? In a big way, yes. Uh, I could see uh, three fundamental changes that could change the banking industry completely. Point number one is the ability to look into the future. So the way we drive business currently is like driving a car where the entire windshield is like a rear view mirror. Uh, we take decisions based on what has happened in the past. What machine learning gives us is probably a small aperture in that big rear view mirror from where you know we can look around and say, hey, there is a bend around here. So just the ability to look into the future could change the entire business management for the bank. Second is life without spam. Uh, just ability to personalize all interactions with the customers, uh, giving them offers personalized for them in the way that they would prefer, uh, in the medium that they would prefer, uh, would just have the customer a delight. And when you add that up through the speed with which we could get back to them, uh, would just enhance the entire customer experience. And the third thing uh, is ability to stay ahead of the fast-moving bad actors. So we could, for example, uh, predict and prevent uh, a cyber attack. A typical cyber attacker is in the network for roughly 90 to 99 days before the attack takes place. But with the help of AI, we can find the anomalies in the network and predict that there is going to be an attack and do the actions to prevent it. So these are the three different ways I think we could really change the way banks do their business. Are financial institutions ready for AI? I think uh, we into financial institutions, we're right now busy experimenting and getting ready for safely scaling AI. But when we compare financial services with other industry sectors, I think we are definitely ahead of them on the AI bandwagon uh, for a simple reason that we have been ahead on the digital maturity curve. Uh, we know big data, we know cloud services, we know how to attract technical talent. And the second is that the size of the prize for financial services is big. Uh, the business case is compelling. Uh, so I really think uh, that we have that particular momentum, we just need to take it forward. What challenges do financial institutions need to overcome to move up the AI ladder? So there is an African proverb uh, which goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And that is exactly what is applicable uh, for artificial intelligence if we want to be successful in it in the long run. So we really need to take the key stakeholders along with us to succeed. So the first one is customers. Uh, and the entire financial services business is based on trust. And this is especially important today because uh, we are right now engulfed uh, in the trust tsunami uh, done by the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal. So we need to give them confidence that, hey, we respect your data privacy. We, whatever we are doing, we are doing it ethically in your best interest. The next one are the employees. We need to excite them about what AI could do for them, how it could help them achieve their business objectives. We need to upskill them uh, so that they can work collaboratively with the models, with the chatbots, with the bots. And we need to make our models explainable so that they understand why the model has taken certain decisions or had spit out certain recommendation, only then they would have the bigger buy-in uh, into the system. So third is uh, the shareholders and the board uh, that represents them. For them, what is important is governance and controls uh, in how uh, before safely scaling AI. So in terms of governance, uh, what we need to have is we know how machines take decisions um, and when, who is accountable for those particular decisions. And in terms of risk controls, hey, what is the risk that AI is introducing into the bank? 
and is that within the risk appetite defined by the bank? Do we have fail-safe mechanisms in place? And the fourth one uh, is the regulator. Uh, just like uh, shareholders, we need to help them monitor the risk. They need to understand what are the governance and controls uh, we have in place. Uh, we need to show them how we have the, the models that are explainable and auditable so that uh, they are aware of the, the steps that we are taking. The second most important thing is the collaboration, uh, breaking the silos, breaking the silos across different business functions, across different technology units, and working collaboratively with third parties or the external partners. What I mean by uh, breaking the silos across business functions is, for example, risk management using AI. We are using the same customer data but if the CFO, the CRO, and the CMO, if they are working together, we could actually ex extend uh, the banking universe uh, to billions of people who are currently unbanked. Uh, or we could predict the customers who are likely to get into financial difficulty and help them proactively. But for them, the different business units need to come together. Second uh, is the collaboration between technical units. So we need to avoid the trap of hammer looking for a nail. Hey, what is it that machine learning can solve? No. I think what we should look for is, what is the business problem that we are trying to solve? And what all different technical tools that I could use to solve that particular problem? Because that would help us create three to four times more value. And finally, I think we must aggressively partner both for capability and capacity. Given that this is a new field, uh, given that the talent is scarce, but if we want to move fast, uh, partnering uh, is, the, is the way to go. How will AI augment what people do today? I think AI definitely gives us superhuman capabilities. Let's look at what machine learning or what AI uh, is helping us with. Number one, it is able to just consume zillions of data points and not data just sitting in the structured Excel format, but the calls, the mails, the letters, all that data could be consumed. And the second thing is understanding that particular data to find patterns, to find trends, to find anomalies. And with that kind of capability, uh, we could really enhance our own way of doing things. For example, uh, we could listen to millions of customer calls rather than a sample of 25. Find out, hey, what is it that the customers are facing challenge on and improve our products. Uh, the second is ability to stop uh, the toughest to catch fraud. For example, the social engineering fraud where somebody takes uh, your login details and logs into the account on your behalf, which as an individual would be just difficult uh, to stop. But system is able to find differences in the subtle behavioral approaches, that is, a customer might be typing it in, uh, but the fraudster might be actually pasting it, and we can figure out, hey, it's somebody else who is trying to log it in, and you can stop it, which would not have been possible uh, just uh, by a human being. So those are the kinds of ways uh, that we could just augment um, our capabilities so as to benefit both the customers as well as the organization. That's very insightful. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.